as both teams just disengage, not wanting to go for a skirmish. But just as I say it, Alien's going to be engaged on Alien. Jumping back with the slam, slam, fast, fast. But Alien's going to be stunned up in the frame of Spider. The appraisal's fast as well. First blood for Edward. Kira terrified up, trying to run away as Apex 47 tries his best to distract, to get him out of there right now. But he's going to be chained CC by the Fredrin. The sprint is not ready, and it's going to be Blacklist International with a clean 2-0 start. Now this is uh, Lapu pretty much quote-unquote baited it out and managing to dash out of the way right before the final shot hits it. So honestly, Kira not exactly very good for that fight. Mm, you can already see as well here, Wise trying to go for it. That's a red trick by Kira to secure it. The overall manipulation and then the charge locks Wise down. The mobility field is right there, but the time journey locks him, gives him some space to escape. Wise is gonna fall. Kazoo picks up the kills. Alien rotates all around, but he's gonna be killed here by the bravest fighter. A terrifies well, but Alien, Alien almost gets out just fairly by you. Today, Oh My Venus just has to position a little bit more dangerously, right? Alien's totally fine. He's come to a point in the game where it's not a Whoa! Wow, Kira deal? even doesn't deal for Kira, but it seems like Fireflux and Pivity do not have that right now. Apex 47 is hunting Venus down, but it's gonna be locked down. Forced to use the sprint, it might just be a free kill Ooh. over, and it will! The time bomb, the alarm bomb in the bush! This fight of hits in, they will want to really overextend themselves, but somehow they're not exactly punished! Oh, Kira is being punished though. While you say that, Edward and Wise were able to just invade in the jungle, now Apex 47, he might be a Hilda, but with those stacks in, Owl might just be able to slay him without the torn apart memory! That's a lot of damage from the Brody in the fifth minute of no. They understand that the turtle is already working towards their favor. They have the priority at that. Then, of course, jumping onto the jungle is what they want to go for. Bravest spider from Edward, all the way to the back. Ethan, oh. Kazoo, it's gonna be taken down. Now the top side, that's gonna be sniped coming down. But I was oh. able to escape. It's one of our memory. One more shot. Oh. 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 Escapes. Blacklist are stomping on This is just brutal. Sunshine needs to run, but even oh, no. then, he's stuck. Oh, Venus there. That's gonna be Flicker. Oh. Venus Flicker is out as well. Sunshine! Wait, wait, wait! How did he do that? He finds a double kill. Finally, he's gonna be punished. Face it, forcing at least, uh, at least for UA to use his own to trade. It for the siege gets too much for them though. Blacklist or National are completely utilizing this Brody and Alien is gonna be stunned up and this should be him taken down without the torn apart memory. Utilizing the Brody so well. International will get full control of the river line and the Lord will be popping out in 50 seconds. FIMP will want to reclaim this. That's a taunt. Kazooie gonna be locked down, doesn't have... Oh, he goes for the flicker anyways, but Edward chases him down with the Bravest Spider. Sometimes earlier than they're supposed to be. Oh, Brenner's apathy. Why is just being that psycho Fredrin in the front. Taunting Alien up, that's gonna be Edward with the Bravest Spider. He's gonna be disintegrated, and Owl in the back is gonna be slain by the Assassin Kura, but the end of the shards was stolen away by Yue. Now it's gonna be the real Roman Appalachian. Sunshine gonna be able to dish out some damage, but Wise takes him out. Yue is looking for a Maniac! Yue! He got it! A maniac! A savage is waiting Ooh. in the base, but Kazoo, he's gonna be denying it away from Yue. There's gonna be a lot of threat, but one thing that FIMP forgot is the fact that there is a 7k deficit. And the fact that Yue can just steal the endless shards, you wanna burst me? Nah, if I'm ahead, I'm bursting your team. Mm -hmm. One shot me, one shot you, doesn't matter who's gonna go down first, this inhibitor's mine. And I for an eye for two for a two. FIMP is ready to defend this as much as they can, as Alien is just gonna be getting shot. Oh, they can't, they can't even defend, Edward! He gets a two man stun and Yue follows it up instantly in the back, finding a double kill as RWM comes down to lock Apex 47. Owl, well, one more shot, but Apex is able to escape. That real world manipulation from Kazooie. That's the only thing that can stop them in a way. He's coming down as he's able to actually immobilize it. But look at the damage coming from Owl melting down. Apex 47 like it's nothing. Now to end with Shards doing nothing to Wise. He walks back up. Kira's looking for a kill right now. He jumps in, but it's a fade. It's a fade and it's a time journey to lock him up. 11 minutes is all Blacklist needs. First against Todak, now against Fireflux. Impunity. Great cleanup overall, efficient trades, and the best part, their communication still in tip-top shape. Their baits towards the end. Was that absolutely necessary? Not at all, but they did it anyways. I gotta have to say, US IMU, that uptime, it constantly coming out on, on the this Lapu Lapu is already enough. But who's the aim? Oh, well. Well, oh, perfect uh, timing. Per perfect. 5 0 oh, 9. Radiant Armor picked up. No damage from the AA Mon. Gideon. What can you say about the Lapu Lapu? Edward I mean, Lapu Lapu. I mean, the Edward Lapu Lapu, he played it as good as anybody can play it, right?
Blacklist International just knew how to play Mobile Legends. Oh, they really did, right? <laughs> it's almost like they mastered the basics. Oh. 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 I've made that joke twice. Okay. Oh. Okay. Not, not so original <laughs> after all. <then>. <laughs> <laughs> That's original. <laughs> See that. Do they have any other, you know, pocket picks or rather is there anything, uh, other strategies that FIMP will want to look out for? Because in this game, all aggression is no aggression to, uh, to this game. Because we're looking at Hild A, you know... Will you be able to make these mechanics, these cables work? I mean, even if he's not getting these kills, right, at the end of the day, he is influencing. They're going in again with the cables. Wise can be targeted down. Doesn't have the Praiser's Wrath just yet, but now finds the stacks. The Praiser's Wrath will be ready for him as Alien jumps in once again. Just there. Oh, the flicker from Alien! And he's going to be able to fight for his blood! Ooh. Maybe, just maybe a double kill, but Edward is able to escape. Farflux Impunity already. If the Queen isn't in the mid lane, where is she going to be? Down by the bottom side. Perhaps just running down onto the opponent's jungle will be the bad case. Unfortunately, Kira didn't really quite manage to steal the bubble bomb. Oh, and Alien's going to be baited in. Actually, now with the final slash as well, Alien should fall. And Blacklist International claim an equalizer kill in the fourth minute. Chant the Talisman, that's generally up to him. He's got the performance for it. But now we look at the next upcoming turtle up on that top side. And FIMP, they want to snowball through bottom. What? Blacklist, they've got a read. Oh, good read by Venus, opening up the map once again, but that's going to be the knockup onto Venus right now. The Call are stolen away, Minion Fury connecting, and Venus should fall here to Cura. Uh, oh, and Bruce Passion right now, Sunshine pops his on force. Up top, a trade, a good one from Blacklist International. Again, play. Flex Impunity, look for Pryo for the first time ever that they will contest for a neutral objective. Apex 47 now with a Minion Fury flicker combo! Five more members! Four. The versus there, the wrap last charge in, Venus finds three! But Cura is on the back, just Dodging away, Wise now taunting up, disengaging, but Fireflux and Punity, they might have found a way. Exactly what Blacklist wants, especially when Apex doesn't have his own ult. Well, so pretty much what we're going to be expecting top lane. Numina Blast and the Venice Rage, a late cold alter from Kazooie. Not a yes, it follows the fundamentals, but the adaptation on top of that is what sets them apart from everybody else. Oh, God! Oh. Whoa! Solo kill! Utilizing the Master Assassin talent emblem. But look at top lane right now, Kazooie trying to bring Wise back with the Shadow Stampede, but Wise will just say, I'll walk and dash towards you. Now with the taunt, having full stacks for the Appraiser's Wrath, gonna go and steal away the orange buff. But down below, Kira will be able to pick up a turret to trade it away. Appraiser's Wrath was used up. Wise truly does not care about the fact that he is in opponent. The lot gets a lot lower, then they will probably go for it. They're now blast with a flicker, Apex 47 is gonna fall with the Venice Rage used up a lot of ultimates. As much as they want to try, Apex is still going down. With this Lord being slain, this is the next trigger point for Blacklist International. They have their Wing Kong go in for them, and now the snowball is going to continue from here on until about the 14th minute of the game. If not by MP, they're, they've been playing relatively passive in the early. We've seen them trade pretty evenly during the mid, and as we start rotating, especially when we're transitioning into the later stages of the game, right, we have to keep our eyes on people like Sunshine. How is he really, realistically, trying to get in on this fight? They need to bait out number one, the Numenon Blast. And Owl, I don't think he's going to be in a position which really compromises him unless he really flubs or makes a mistake. Or the secondary engage tool. Alien with the final slash, maybe with a flicker, could look for something big. I don't think the FIMP uh, have got the items that they want in order to deal with the front lines or perhaps even onto the back lines. Kura, one of the main damage dealers of the team, don't have his buff and they rely a lot onto that cable. So even if FIMP has got all of those setups coming in from Kazue or perhaps even from Apex 47 or perhaps even from Alien, how exactly are they supposed to bring the mid lines or perhaps the back lines down? Sunshine Blacklist, every single one of the players, every single one of the Difficult for him to farm in Retri again. Just a heritage core. The fact that until they still have the Minoan Fury. And Blacklist and the Nathan International, they're still taking their oh, whole time. Oh, a blast from Venus all the way to the back line right now because we're still able to survive. That's a terrifying Minoan Fury as well. That's a three man knockup coming in. That's Venus taken down. Kuras looking for more. Doesn't have the energy necessary to look for more, but they will take it. A one for zero in favor of Firefox Impunity. Now, notice that Black Blade, but the fact is, they've got all the resources in the world and they know that it's a clear disadvantage. Wait, hold on. No call. Alter Edwards using it. Sunshine's gonna be gunned down, and Edward finds the kill with the rhythm and the vengeance. Now, Alien is the next target on the primary oh. list, and Owl takes him out with an Amiru's passion, swaps out to the Renner's apathy. He wants it, he needs to start taking full advantage of it if they want to close out this game. 
If he finds another snipe, that's gonna be insane! Oh, but it doesn't even need to connect Venus! With the Numenau Blast and Yue! With the Minu and Fury! The combo together right on time as well! How do you get better than this? Blacklist International are playing the cleanest MLBB I have ever seen! It's like five men left, but Sunshine what? finds himself taken down! Venice Rage to take him out with his Amon Force already popped in. Cura as well finds a tier 2 up top, but it doesn't matter. Blacklist responds. MP out. The only thing that they can do is just immediately back off and doesn't really have much of a fight. Oh, he's gonna get it. Damn! Oh. Damn! Ow, why are you so good? Minute Fury now. Apex 47 is gonna be locked down with the Minute Blast. Alien into the midst with a vengeance, but he gets bursted down too quick. Owl oh. gonna people down with the Nibiru. He walks off forward. Kuro's able to clear out the Lord right now. So anyways, come crashing down. Kuro the cables once again. But Owl finds another. He is indeed unstoppable. Oh. Owl is the new Filipino sniper. He'll take that mantle from Mohan. Oh my god. How many, how accurate is he? I don't know what Oheb has told him, but they've got some kind of secret tech there to make sure that they land every single one of those shots. F-I-M-P get closed out of this game. They play passive, but there was never a time where they felt in control. And all of these, we pick up the Harif, and then you pick up the Lolita. Oh, our MVP. No, uh, I think this is uncontested. Look at mm -hmm. that. 6 1 and 1, connection with the Makes ultimate. Sense. He's really on point with the sniper. Gideon is. What, what, what else could, could we say about the MVP of the game? That he's comfortable, that even when he's up. Not gonna lie, I couldn't see the line at all. Because that's how accurate he is. He's making he sure. He doesn't need the line. Yeah, he doesn't it even need the line. The line. <laughs> Literally, if, even if Muntan decided, you know what, let's take away the the, 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 the cross. Well, it's not really a crosshairs. The laser side up is yeah, sent not only control over the map, but they've also played to a very similar play style in Malaysia before. They don't want to get backdoored again. They don't want any of that crazy nonsense. They're yeah. making sure that when they are collapsing, onto their enemies, they are checking the boxes, the strong fundamentals. And I mean, mastering the basics literally in his name, making sure that there is no outs, no yeah. angle that FIMP can actually get through. Purple buffs, every single one has been taken away. For quite a bit of time. Bloodless International is already positioning themselves, preparing for this turtle fight. However, one thing that do, do, they do not know is that Kura is just right around the corner in which... Oh, final slash, deadly catch, everything thrown at Blacklist International. Wise is gonna fall there and it's gonna be Kura who picks up the turtle. Now they're gonna look for some more invaded. Venus walks up as a bit of fury, now locking him down in the real world of inflation as Edward comes through as well. It's a combo and it's a deadly one as Yue picks up a double kill. To respond to that, the priority up onto the turtle while FIMP positions himself, readies himself for the grand opportunity to allow Kira to jump in. Alien with a final slash, real world and Blade comes down, Edward's gonna be able to find the turtle, but in the midst of it all, it's still gonna be a good fight right now for Firefox and Punity getting you in down, but Alien now with a vengeance, now of so many resets onto the back, they keep that, right? They're making sure that they get an early push on that top side at the very least, and then start rotating for this potential 4v5 in about 30 seconds or so. Venus again with a Venus Fury, Venice Rage popped in and that's gonna be the combo right there with a the real rub inflation locking them in place as well. Kuro with a deadly catch trying to disengage, one more shot will do it! He was never forward, but Sunshine oh. finds a turn oh. memory and Lunar snipes wise from downtown, a two for two. Not bad, not bad. FIMP really turning up the heat against Blacklist International. Oh, oh the Filipino oh. sniper to the new one. Finds two basic attacks, Yue just cleans him up. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Especially since FIMP would want to get information as much as possible. Oh, Alien with a final splash on the back right now. Just disrupting the formation with the real world of information. Locks them in place. Oh. Yue is still able to kite away right now. Deadly Catch just does the damage. Now Sunshine is here for a cleanup. But he's not able to find the range on the rest of the members from Blacklist International. That does, however, give Firefox impunity more room. Unless Edward steals it away. Retribution. Just that FIMP would have walked Blacklist all the way down to their tier twos and taken away their purple buff at the same time. Kura is a lot stronger than what people imagine. Oh, vengeance popped in. Sunshine will just disappear, burst it down. Absolutely devastating what we are looking out for. Planets International now finds a hole up in the northern oh. side. They get the turret down. That's the wild charge, the lockdown as well from Alien. That should be a free kill. Venus might just be next, but oh, brilliant. Wall 
to lock Tina's down right now as Alien goes in for the stash once again with the final slash is able to lock him down. Now nice. Wise with the final slash by himself as well, saving the queen, but not for long. It's still just gonna be a one for one. Roamer right. They do have a lot of damage onto their arsenal, albeit most of that is magical damage. Oh my Venus is the only one that can pretty much open up the map for oh. them. Vengeance popped in, Sunshine should be dead. No wild charge to peel to cover. Now Edward's trying to run away, getting the healing as well as Venus just body blocks all the way in the front. Let's say three gold lane pickoff for Blacklist International as they look towards the Lord. Now only 11 minutes, so it's still going to be the first Lord of the game. No enhanced. Deadly catch now by Kura. It's going to be responded over. Six sharks in the building. But it's Rage and the Venus Bastion. Kura's going to be bursted down. Meanwhile, on the back right now, Alien tries to go for the steal. But Wise just absolutely belts. Apex down like it's nothing. Aliens trying to run away. The Lord was secured as well by Black Desert National. Venus oh. flickers forward, finding the stun. U.S. slows him down. The final dodge comes through as well. Aliens still able to sustain for now. That's the stun oh. from downtown. Owl finds it. Venus soaks in the Astral Sphere like it's nothing. And is going to be their main part of the game. They did manage to bring the inhibitor turret low. Hold on. Alien might just be bursted down. Oh, he goes for oh, more. Oh, what? And he's going to be slain. Meanwhile, wild charge flicker combo from Apex 47 but no one's there to follow it up. Apex might just fall right now from the burst. Coming down, Edwards dashing forward. Apex still able to survive. Black Mr. National choose to back away. That's <laughs> five beats. You gotta sit back, relax, and take it slow. Notice that he already has uh, plenty of items on his side. He's been farming mighty fine. Oh! oh. Wow. The time it's so well to find that. Kura. His orange buff is stolen away, now slowed down by you, and Edward comes through with some damage. Blacklist International, one man advantage. They can use this, or they can choose to just play the discipline route. 20 seconds for the Lord, why risk it? Only for Blacklist International, and I mean, this, they can hold them hostage, literally. Oh! Apex 47 forced to use the wild charge, but it does not matter. Wise just tears them apart as Alien now will take a huge chunk of damage on his health bar. Free Lord conceded. Black, I think now they're calling their plane. Yep, I mean, this is where it gets really brutal, right? And I think even for FIMP, they have to play very... Oh, oh no, Kura. No. Kura, he's in a lot of trouble now. Oh, that's a snipe from Owl. That's another also Astro Spear locking Owl down, but he is able to just sustain back up. He's going to be able to steal, life steal away. Oh, that's another alien. Gets picked off just like that. Two members fall. You don't even see it. You blink and you miss it. Uh, that's why patience is a virtue. Game of capitalizing mistakes. That's what Blacklist International is looking out for. Play slow, play quick, because they know FIMP, they will make a mistake for Blacklist International to push right on in. Phantom Minion, gonna be cleared out, but there's another wave coming down in the mid lane. How do they clear this one? Apex 47 first oh. down! Oh. the Wild Char, Sunshine tries to make a play, but the base will be gunned down. A Minion Fury onto the back. Blacklist International, untouchable, unstoppable. They're looking mighty fine right now. So clean. I would agree with them. Just use your wild charge at that point. Don't even need to flicker out of it. The end is... Okay, okay. <laughs> too much media training. Oh, uh, too much media training, <laughs> as I mentioned. MVP of the series and of particularly this game with a 308 performance on a joy. Gideon, how good was this joy? I mean, the Cambodian, Cambodian people love joy. I mean, yeah. Cambodian people a lot. I mean, he's doing more than a lot here. I think people tend to forget what Blacklist actually means. It's literally a list of the most dangerous people, five people, the top five people, as a matter of fact, in the world. And they continue to show why that they were previous world champions. And obviously, mm. some to the T in this best of five, giving no outs, or better yet, understanding that they did have a couple of adaptations to make in the early game and then adjusted accordingly. I think the best, like, how I can put this performance into words is as a normal player, like a 